Hello debutantes, it is time for another episode of Kelly Cooks. Excuse my appearance, I have been out running errands all day, but I wanted to come home and cook something up. So I found a ground beef recipe for cheeseburger pie. So I think I got it on Pinterest, I'm not 100% sure. I wrote it down on an index card and I did not write the source. Uh, it's the first time I'm making this recipe, but it seems super easy. So I so I thought I would share it with you. So my oven is preheated as you can hear it probably in the background. It makes more noise than my dishwasher. Anyway, so let me show you everything we need and we'll get started with this easy cheeseburger pie recipe. Okay guys, we are going to make cheeseburger pie. So what we're going to need is one pound of ground beef, one medium onion chopped, a package of onion soup mix that's right there, eight ounces of cheddar cheese, that's about half of that bag, um, which is probably a little less of what's in there now. You're going to need half a cup of flour, one cup of milk, half a teaspoon of dry mustard, that's the yellow, half a teaspoon of black pepper, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and two eggs that I have to slightly beat. So our first step is we're going to ground the meat with the onion and we're going to get that good and brown and then we are going to drain it and set it aside so let me go ahead and get started browning my meat and my onions and then we'll be back okay guys while we're browning the meat we're going to go ahead on to the next step which is add flour to a wet measuring cup now this is very important you have to put the flour in first because we're going to add the milk and if we tried to add the flour to the milk it would get all clumpy. So I'm going to pour the milk into the flour and whisk it up and get it combined. So this is a two cup measure that I'm mixing in. This is just measured my one cup milk. I have my whisk and I'm just going to make sure that flour is combined. I don't think it's going to be um, really really smooth but we definitely don't want um, the big clumps I'm trying to get my hand out of the way not that you all don't know how to whisk <laughs> flour and milk together then the next step is we're just going to add the dry mustard the pepper the salt and the eggs so luckily I have everything pre-measured for you on the plate which is not how I would normally do this just for fun you know because cooking is just so much fun mustard black pepper, salt. Now I didn't have an eighth teaspoon measure. I just eyeballed half of, yeah, like a half of a quarter of a teaspoon. So don't go crazy about these measurements. I'm going to stir up my meat so I don't burn it. My dogs are under my feet waiting to be fed. They still have about 45 minutes. So if you hear them clip clopping around, I apologize. They are very demanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and whisk that up. Make sure that's combined. And then I'm going to add my eggs. Thank goodness I have these vintage Pyrex bowls with the pour spout, which makes my life so much easier. So I'm just gonna pour that in. I'm gonna whisk, whisk that together. I also have preheat my oven to 375 on bake. So that is all going. The meat is browning, the onions are browning. We've got our wet ingredients ready to go, so we just have to finish up the meat and then we can move on. All right, our meat and our onions are nice and brown and now I'm gonna drain them. I live on a septic system, so I cannot pour oil down my sink. So I just have a colander over one of my Pyrex bowls and I'm doing it right here on the stove because I don't wanna get grease all over my floor. So I just do it over a bowl. Make sure we get all that yumminess in there. All right guys, for some reason, my camera shut off during the last step. Um, basically, all I did was the ground, the meat and the onions that were already browned. I added the Lipton soup mix. I just sprinkled it into the pan and I did about half the cheese about a handful and a half, um, I just sprinkled into the ground meat mixture and we just put it in a 
This is a cake pan. It calls for a pie pan, but I don't have one of those right now. I have a cake pan. So I just put it in, top, in there. Let me move this out of the way. I need one of them fancy Pioneer Woman kitchens where you don't have to do all that stuff. So then we we'll just take the other half of the cheese and sprinkle that on top. Now, I did not exactly measure this cheese because I like cheese and I want more cheese. So I'm just gonna top this with the cheese. Bella, simmer down. She smells the ground beef and she thinks she's getting table scraps, which she's not. Okay, now the last thing we have to do is grab our milk mixture. This is the milk, the egg, the flour, and our other dry spices. I'm just gonna make sure it's mixed up again because it's been sitting for a little bit. And now we're just gonna pour this kind of evenly over this. It looks pretty good already. Then we're gonna put it in a 375 degree oven, which I've already preheated for 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I may do it a little less because I think this pan is a little bit bigger than the one they called for and I don't want it to overcook. So I'm just gonna kinda give that a good shake. I wanna make sure it's mixed. Then I'm gonna put it in my oven. I'm gonna bake it. I'm gonna start checking it around 20 minutes. First of all, my oven, the temperature is never the same that it's supposed to be and I don't wanna overcook it. So 375 to 30 to 40 minutes if you are using a nine inch pie pan. I'm using a 10 and a half inch cake pan, so I'm gonna check it after about 20 minutes. Okay, the timer went off, so now we're gonna pull it out of the oven. No judging my oven now, people. It might be dirty. All right, so let's take it out. It's kind of nice and brown on the top where that cheese has melted. So I'm just gonna set it right here on the oven. And it has to sit for about 10 minutes, I'm sure, so that will, everything will settle in. So let's get a closer look at it. If I can get my camera to work for me. So we're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. If you notice that big hole right there, my refrigerator broke. I haven't had a refrigerator for several days, um, at least that refrigerator. We have an old refrigerator on my back patio. So if you read any of my tweets, you can tell you read that I'm feeling a little more Dixie and less debutantes because I have to go outside to get anything out of the refrigerator. So anyway, we're just gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. Now would be a good time to put together a salad or some type of side. Um, I think we're just gonna have this tonight because we're trying to low carb it and I don't feel like making a salad. And pretty much right now, it's just me at home and my husband may or may not come home for dinner. So that's where we're at. So once it sets, I'll slice it up and show you what it looks like. All right, let's cut into this and see how yummy it looks. I almost grabbed the hot pan with my bare hand. <laughs> that wouldn't have been very good. Now I'm sure that if you use the pie pan, it will be a little thicker. Mine's gonna be a little thin. I think I'm gonna need a spatula. Use this one. The first piece is always hard to get out of something, isn't it? So there it is on the plate. Ready to try. Looks pretty yummy. Oh, there you go. Looks pretty yummy. All right guys, I'm gonna sit down and eat this for dinner and save the rest for my husband. Please thumbs this video up if you enjoyed this recipe. Again, this was a brand new recipe. I had never made it before. Um, it looks really tasty. Please subscribe if you have not and let me know if there are any recipes that you would like me to try on my channel. I'll see you all later. Bye guys. Look who made it home for dinner. Poor honey just skin and cheeseburger pie. No tater tots, no salad. All right, the, we're waiting. Mm. I thought it was amazing. I had two pieces. Very good. Very good? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it would go good with french fries or tater tots and a side salad, but I thought I was only feeding myself. So, I like it. Two thumbs up? Yeah. Good.